Hi friends, in this video we will see how to create a two-way chat application using socket programming with TCP by using the coding of Python. So now we want to communicate with two systems. So since you have seen in my previous video how you can make a one-way communication between two systems. And here we have two systems, so system 1.py, system 2.py. So now we want to make a two-way communication by sending and receiving message between the system 1 and system 2. So the system 1 is going to act as a server. And you know the first step, we need to import a socket because the two systems are going to communicate using a socket concept. The socket can be either a TCP or UDP. Here we are going to use with the TCP socket programming. And also the socket will be identified by the IP address and the port number. And the first step, we need to create a socket object. So create a socket object. So in order to do that, we create socket dot socket class. So you can pass two inputs to the socket constructor that is the IP family address, internet family address that is the IPv4 and also followed by what type of socket you are using TCP or UDP. So if you are not passing anything also defaultly it will take the TCP socket programming. And after creating the socket the next step is to bind the socket. Bind the socket with the port number. Since we are going to run the system 1 and system 2 in the same computer, we are going to use the IP address as our local host address. So s.bind which have a tuple which contain the IP address point 1 comma a port number. I have explained to you what is mean by port number also in my previous video. And after binding the system is waiting for listening any other request is coming. Listening for a request. So as dot listen. So once it's listening, if any connection is coming, any request is coming, it's accepting the connection. So accept the connection. So since it's accept, we know it will return two variables. First variable is a socket, a new socket which will be used to create or used to send and receive the message inside the system. And next one is the client socket, the socket which is giving a request, the socket of the system which is giving a request, so to information. And we are going to print that information, connection, established with. So to whom the connection is established, you want to know it. So I'm going to print it. I need to convert this socket into a string. So now my connection is ready with the server side. So the server is first sending the message. So to send a message, I want to get the input from the user. So from server, we are getting the input. And this will be sent. So using this my socket object, I need to send the message. Whenever I send the message, it need to be converted to bytes. While we convert the message along with the encoding. What type of encoding we are using? That is UTF-8. So now the message is sent and finally you need to close the socket. Okay, this is the sending. So we have seen the last video itself how to send it. So similarly, we need to write the program for the client. So first step, we need to create a socket. Next step, we are creating a socket object. Socket dot socket. Next step, we need to bind it. So here we need to give a tuple 127.0.0.1 along with another port number which represents the client service. And now after binding, this client wants to connect with the server. So it is sending a request with connect to whom it wants to connect. So it wants to connect with the system with IP address along with the port number. The port number is 2000 here. So it wants to connect with the system in the port number 2000. 
So now it's connected. It's ready to receive the message from the from the server. So if I want to receive it, I have a function called this receive. The received message will be stored in a buffer and that will be stored in a variable message. And now this message cannot be directly displayed. So this message is coming from the server end and this message need to be decoded. So message dot decode the same decoding method you need to use it. So you have and finally you need to close the connection. So this will enable you to provide a one way communication since you know it. So I will run it. So my server is ready and next I run it. My client is ready. So in my server side I am giving hi. So in my server it is in my client it's receiving the message so now i want to simulate a two-way communication so now the server has sent the receiver has received now the receiver want to send a message so i'm going to give data i'm getting an input from the client okay so now the client wants to send a message so using the socket object it is using a send method and again, you know, it need to be converted. So the data is converted and the format is UTF-8. So now getting a data. So this is for receiving data from server. And this is for sending data to server. Okay. So same thing here. This is the step two. Sending data to client and now we need to write a code to receive the data which is sent by the client. So receiving data from client. So since you know how to receive it, so by using my socket dot receive, you need to specify the buffer size. So that will be stored in a variable and you cannot directly print the message. So you need to again using a concept of decoding using with UTF-8. Okay. So now we will simulate how it is running. So we will run the code first. And here the server is running. And you run it here. Now the client is running. You go here. Yes, now the server is ready. I'm spending hi to client. So I will go to my client. Yes, so I got a message from the server. Hi to client. So now the client is sending a message. Hello to server. Okay. So now I got a message from the client. Hello to server. So to specify this coming from client, I need to specify here. Okay. Yes. This message is received from the client. Okay. But it is doing only one message. The server can able to send one message. The receiver can able to send one message. But I want to do this conversation or chatting repeatedly or continuously. So as you know, you want to repeat something, you need to put a looping concept. So while true, okay, while true, the sending and receiving need to be done repeatedly. So same thing in the client side. I need to repeat it. I need to put a while loop. Okay. While true. And this also need to be repeated. Okay. So now we will test how it is working. So we will run the server first. Next we will run the client. Okay. So now it's telling this port number is already reused. So you can change the port number. Okay, I can assign some other port number, 2020. So now I will run it. Yes. Okay, server is ready. And my client is ready. So I will go to my server. Hi from server. So I will go here. Hello from client. Okay, I got it. So now I am telling. How are you? So here, the client is telling, I am fine. And the server is telling, okay, bye. So this kind also telling bye, but still, 
that is a problem here your conversation is never ending okay because we didn't check any condition the while loop is true so always there is a conversation between the client and server it is never ending so how you can make it as end based on some condition so now if a server is putting a buy message so immediately our conversation needs to be terminated so here i can say here my server is sending a message so if if the server message is high then i need to terminate the information on the conversation so if my message is equal to buy then i need to break okay if my message is buy i need to break so same thing in my client side i need to write if the message whatever i have received okay after decoding i know that what message i have received the message i received is buy i need to break okay so this will make my program to terminate once i have a constraint that the buy message is entered my communication get terminated so again i will run with run the server run the client yes so now i will go to server hi from sir come here hello from client yes i am telling here how are you client it's telling i am fine server okay so now my server is giving a buy message it's terminated and here also i got a buy message from my client received in the client side by my server so the message sent by the server is buy so both the end my communication get terminated so you can think of some other logic also to terminate your communication between the client system and the server system thank you i hope you all understand how to do with one way communication and how to do with two way chat application between two system thank you for watching